It's such a great privilege and pleasure to see 70 members of the Galileo Project team coming together, celebrating the past year accomplishments of the project. And uh, we are just at the beginning uh, because in the coming year we hope to collect data and find out what it shows. Uh, we, we make no assumptions, we are completely agnostic, but it seems like the government is telling us that there are some exciting objects out there that we need to figure out what they are. And that's our hope. For now, we assembled the relevant instruments, we are testing them, and we will soon deploy them and start collecting data. Because the sky is not classified, and we very much hope to discover what the nature of objects that the government is talking about, and that astronomers are talking about, that look like outliers are. Are they technological in origin from another planet? Or are they natural phenomena? And the Galileo project aims to find out along three tracks. One is looking at unidentified aerospace phenomena in the sky and uh, imaging them in the infrared, optical, radio and audio bands. The second is rendezvousing with interstellar objects in space and taking a close look at them. It will cost about a billion dollars to meet an interstellar object. Uh, there is a much cheaper way of doing that, and that is to find an interstellar meteor. We know of one that landed near Papua New Guinea uh, in 2014, and we plan to search for the fragments from this meteor by scooping the ocean floor. And that is the third branch of the Galileo project. So we have very exciting times ahead and we look forward to what we will find. So yeah, I'm Ezra. Um, had a great time on this project so far. Uh, it's been uh, it's been great working with the team that we've had. You know, come to the rooftop, hitting your thumb with a hammer, sweating all day, lifting heavy objects, um, and, and just you know working with with several of the teammates that have been here for uh, you know up on the rooftop with me for for a few weeks or you know a couple months now. It's been uh, it's been an honor to work with them and, and meet these people. I'm excited for what the future holds. This is just you know a preview of, of what's to come. Um, you know, getting a, a first look at our instrumentation, getting our hands on it. You know, it's working, and we're getting data. And um, now now is you know what I consider really the start of things, where you know we get to to put in some really nice sensors and expand our reach and set up different set up at different locations. And um, yeah, that's where the, the real exciting parts, you know, come together and uh, really looking forward to this next year.